So uh, right around the same time that my dad explained the whole spreadsheet and the time value of money, uh, he made me get a job. Like I said, I was about 11 or 12 years old, and about the only job I could get at the time was a, a paper route. So I started delivering newspapers, getting up really early and riding my bike and you know just delivering newspapers. Uh, started to provide a paycheck and enabled me to take that money and go buy things I wanted to buy, but I also you know, wanted to experience that time value of money that my father had um, explained to me, uh, so I started to save the money as well. Um, by the time I was 14, I realized that you know, a paper route wasn't the most uh, lucrative, uh, nor was it the best uh, use of my time. So I started a small business with some friends in my neighborhood to clean decks, um, mow lawns, shovel driveways, and do anything that we could do, you know, sort of physically using our bodies as young kids uh, to help around the neighborhood. And that did really well. I sort of had a few guys that I did this with, and you know, as the ringleader, uh, I made the most money. And uh, they were sort of my first, uh, I guess you could say, employees. Um, you know, after that, I you know went on and had you know other other small businesses uh, throughout college. But my first real company was when I graduated college. Um, my I took three and a half years to graduate college, and I took that last semester to start a company. And it was in the telecommunications space. It was very early in the telecom days, uh, in the mid '90s, or at least early in the sense of uh, internet and data that was starting to come about. And uh, I learned you know, the best way to make money in that business was to um, be a middleman in between really big companies who needed to procure telecommunication services and the telecoms themselves. So we became an agent, we would help these big companies make decisions about which telecom provider to go with, and then we would make money from the telecom provider on the back end uh, by getting a piece of the monthly recurring revenue for the life of that contract. Uh, took advantage of the sort of compounding model and the annuity income stream that my dad taught me at a very early age. And, uh, you know, we, we did very well. We made a ton of money. Uh, I was 21 years old at the time when I started the company. Uh, we did very well over the course of a few years. But what I learned the most was that we weren't building any real long-term value. The only value we were building was the amount of money that was booked out on the contracts that we had. We did not have any intellectual property. Uh, we had people and we had relationships and we had contracts. And that was the limitation of the value of our company. So when we went to sell it, that's what we were valued at. There, were very, there wasn't much of a multiple on our earnings um, given that there was no real intellectual property. Uh, we had not invented anything. We had not come up with anything that was tangible beyond our income stream. Um, so fast forward to future companies that I've built, I've instead now focused on what are the long term you know, intellectual property value that we can build in a company. Um, and I've sort of flipped on its head. Today I'm building, you know, we're building a consumer photo app which has no monetization plan, uh, at least not very early on. And we're focused much more on building you know, users and technology and intellectual property uh, that ultimately may be worth more than what any income stream uh, might be worth today. Uh, so it's, it's interesting to see how you know, my personal interests have changed from you know, just purely making money. I had no real interest in telecommunications back then, uh, but I knew it was a great way to make money. And I understood the compounding model and the annuity income and everything associated with that. Whereas you know, today I'm focused on something that uh, again has we're not exactly sure how we're going to make money, um, but we're focused on building value for millions of people.